Hey, what's up? I'm Jim Bob, and I'm here to talk about my 2013 Ford Econoline E250 van. So after driving the van for a few months and trying to go on a couple camp trips, I kind of realized that it just wasn't gonna cut it in its stock form and after coming from my Tacoma that was on 37 inch tires with long travel, bypasses, dual lockers, all that fun stuff, I knew I had to do something. So I ended up looking at the WeldTech Designs website and was going back and forth between their three inch and their five inch Baja Grocery Getter kit. And I ended up deciding to just go for it and get the five inch Baja Grocery Getter kit with the Fox shocks and the progressive leaf springs in the rear. So tomorrow I'm heading down to El Cajon to WeldTech to pick up the kit and then I'm going straight to my friend Mike's shop in Costa Mesa where we're gonna install the full Baja Grocery Getter kit. We're gonna install 456 gears, a Powertrax locker, new wheels, and 35 inch BFGs. So it's gonna be a whole new van and I just can't wait to get it done. All right, it's currently five in the morning just getting gas and gonna start heading towards WeldTech to pick up the lift. Let's hope there's no traffic. Just uh, leaving Weld Tech, just picked up the kit. Uh, thank you to everybody there, uh, super easy. It's all packed in the back and I also have got the wheels and tires back there. All right, so I'm at Stance Works. This is Mike Burrow's shop. Uh, he's a good friend of mine and he is gonna be lending a hand and letting me take up his shop space with my van. But he also has some pretty cool projects in here. And if you don't already follow him on Instagram and YouTube, you need to go check out his channel and I'll put a link in the description for it. The install is pretty straightforward though. It's really just kind of removing your front end components, measuring and welding on the new radius arm brackets and then bolting everything together, but I will note that if you are going to do this, you need to go get the negative two to plus two caster eccentric bushings for the front hubs. And you want to run as much caster as you can on these vans to help them track straight and not have those vibration issues that they do stock. And it's now Saturday. I got here yesterday and we didn't really get started super quick, kind of got lunch and had a bunch of friends come hang out. So we did get the front end apart and we got the radius arm brackets welded on, but we also were working on our friend John's Ferrari 308. He got some custom made coilovers from H&R and some new wheels. So everybody was pretty much hanging out, having a good time and working on stuff in between our friend Franklin is about to get here and he's gonna start working on re-gearing the rear end with the 456 gears and the power tracks, no slip locker. So I'm gonna get back to work and I'll try to keep filming as best I can. And so while Franklin was finalizing all the re-gear and locker stuff, my friend Jason Denny and his wife Rachel came by the shop and they helped me reassemble the front end. So the re-gear was a bit of a project. We ran into a couple of snags where the bearing was stuck to the inner side of the pinion and after Franklin set the lash and got everything set up, he needed to remove it to, to put all the final seals and everything in it and we could not get that inner bearing off and get the pinion out. Once we got it out, everything was super smooth. Franklin got it all in there, set up great, and got their locker in, and that was kind of it.
that's pretty much it for the install video. It was an awesome weekend hanging out with friends and I can't thank Mike and Emily enough for letting me stay there and use the shop and all their help. But I also want to thank Franklin, my friend Jason, Rachel, my friend Justin who owns U-Joint Off-Road in Colorado. He was a giant help throughout the weekend answering questions and whatnot. And just all my other friends that were there to hang out. It was super fun and I cannot explain how much better the van is now. It drives like an entirely new vehicle. And that's really what I wanted out of this. It was not necessarily about having like a big long travel van. I mean, that that's definitely a plus and it's gonna help off road, but like just being able to drive on the highway with one hand on the wheel and not be like gripping, trying to keep it in the lane is really more important than anything. So thank you again to Weld Tech and to everyone else this this has just been such a fun project and you know i'm not sure how to balance these videos it's it's kind of a tough thing to like be present and work on a project or be on a trip and also film so leave a comment and let me know what you think i would love to hear suggestions and thank you for watching